So like I said, um, I'm going to be showing you how to make an Alabama rig or an umbrella rig. So what you need is some wire. Um, I'm not going to be using this one, but I'm going to be using this one, slightly lighter. Um, you will also need some pliers of some sort, some cutting pliers and some like long nose pliers. Um, if you want some split rings, which I'm going to be using, um, some rivets or some of these um, like clamp things for the for normal wire. Um, let me just adjust the camera slightly. So, um, sorry, just give me a second. It's just trying to get the camera in the right position. So, um, like I said, what you that's what you'll need. So, um, to start off, the first thing you'll need to do is, if you haven't got the wire clamps, I'm going to call them wire clamps because I'm not sure what you call them, um, you will need some rivets. Um, what you want to do with the rivets is get the pliers and clamp them on like that and then this piece you want to hit not onto your hand onto something solid hard and it will pop off and then you just pull it and you end up with a piece like this which you get rid of or use it as a nail or whatever the hell you want um, I sometimes put them I sometimes cut them up and put them within the end of the Alabama rig or, and you want this piece um, which you're going to put the wire through. So let's get onto that. You also may need some drill bits, not always, but sometimes I use them just to push the holes into stuff. So, um, so next, what you do? Let me just change my position. Um, so next, what you'll want to do is get the wire. Um, you also need hooks and stuff which is pretty obvious, I think. Um, get the wire. Just remember which end I'm supposed to be undoing. Um, get however much you want, because I'm, this is quite small wire. Normally I'd use the heavier stuff, which I have. I use on my bass, on my bass rigs, I use this. Um, I made an Alabama rig a while ago, which I'll put a picture in at the end of this video. Um, it depends on how long you want it. Usually I would do about, um, I would want it out about 10 centimetres or more. Um, I'm just going to do it about 15 cent, a little bit less than that actually. I'm just going to make it about this long. I want to cut that, so I'm going to get these cutters cut that with. Um, I've norm I don't want to use these ones because I don't want to mess it up for when I need them properly. Um, then I need, don't, don't put this down, you need it still. You need to measure another one or two. Um, I'm just going to make a, a like four hook one. Um, I'm not, I think these are illegal in England, I'm not sure, because I know you're not allowed to cut fish with more than one hook in certain places, maybe all over, but um, I believe you can see fish with more than one hook, because people do that all the time, but I believe river fishing and lake fishing, it's illegal to use more than one hook, um, so, well I was told that anyway, in Japan you're allowed to use as many hooks as you want. You, um, I believe because I yeah I normally use two or three, and they always sell rigs for like four hooks and stuff. And like I I have a rig with like eight hooks on it for some reason. I never use it. I just was given it. So. Okay, so what you want to do is put it through both of them. Um, for this, I'm using a three mil rivet for because it's quite a light one. I'm going to be making. So what you ideally want to do is put them through. One one piece wants to be sticking out about a centimetre and a bit. 
and the other one you can either put up or keep it down, I'm going to keep it down, then what you want to do is just first just crush it slightly with the pliers. If you can't crush it with the pliers, use the cutting piece, which you you'd normally crush things down with anyway. Um, just crush it like that, as if you're using like the clamp, usual um, clamp, just like that. So they can't pull through it through. And on my pliers, I have the split ring piece, so I'm just going to pop it open. This this bit that's slightly closed because you have to crush it to try and get it through. Gonna like try and get that open again. Just like that. Um, you can put a spit ring in it if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, so next is going. To, um, you have to put the hooks on um well not normally you wouldn't put hooks on but um because i'm making this as a different style i'm going to put split rings and hooks straight off um i not i only have big split rings which you wouldn't normally use for trout but i've only got these um big ones so i'm just going to use these these aren't even fishing ones i bought these from a shop from a um hard store hardware store I'm just going to put them into this pot. Um, sorry about the camera. I'm not. I'm just trying to sort of use this a bit before I go fishing to get used to having my iPod on my chest instead of a GoPro. Um, because I can't edit my videos yet because I don't have a access thing for my action camera to my iPod um, at the moment. So. You'll just have to bear with me a few weeks or a month before I can start doing it properly again. Well, not again, but start doing it properly because I don't really like wearing a whole, like, phone almost on my... Well, it's basically a phone when you think about it on my chest. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm never really good at it. Sometimes I get it really, really nice. Other times, Other times it will look really crap like that. Really, sorry, excuse my language. Sometimes it will look good, other times it will look not so nice, good, um, slightly off. If my lens, if it's really, my camera's really blurry, I'm very sorry because I don't know why. I'll just give it a quick wipe and see if it changes it. Um, yeah, I it kind of I know this video doesn't seem very good because of the way I have it, but um, the end result is good. Well, hopefully, will be good. Um, I advise actually having two pairs of pliers. It makes it easier, but I don't have two pairs. I threw away my old pair, being a kind of idiot. So when I bought new ones, I thought, what's the point in having old ones? And threw them away. You really want to have them about the same length. Sorry, I shut up about talking about my old stuff now. I just kind of gone a bit crazy these few months and just bought tons and tons of new stuff. Um, because I just I'm finishing school soon, so I can just go fishing all the time when I'm not working. So I'm kind of really excited because where I um I move around a lot, and the next place that I'm moving to, um, I'm gonna be not far from this fishing place which I'm going to go to find out. I'm not sure if it's carp or what, we're just going to go out and find it. I think it's like one kilometre, maybe not even that, like 800 metres from where I'm living. So I'm going to go there because um, it's really far away at the moment. It's about um, 10 kilometres, 8 kilometres to get there. So. kind of far um, as you see I'm not measuring up I'm just trying to get this done kind of fastish to show you the end result 
but she'll probably have to wait till tomorrow because it's kind of getting late now. I won't be. I won't. I don't want really want to stay up till late to let to f completely finish it. So I'll finish the video tomorrow as soon as I wake up before I go to school. Um, to any all of my viewers, I am. If you want to know how old I actually am, I'm only f I'm sixteen, but um, I spent all most a long time fishing. I spent hours and hours and hours fishing, learning new things, um, creating new things. I just try different styles of fishing, see what I can catch. Um, I try literally everything. I'm always inventing new ways of catching stuff and inventing new kinds of rigs and stuff that I can use. Um, I used to be really good at carp fishing, but I don't do it much anymore because I don't just don't have enough time and I find it kind of boring. I enjoy game fishing more now because I've kind of got into it because we found a place where we could actually go and catch things like um, bass and snakehead and stuff. So, finish my talking. What I will do now after when I finished is with the split rings I'll get like because I did a lot of trout fishing I have a lot of trout hooks I'll open the split rings which I'm not very good at at the moment because I've never really used these kind of pliers um, yeah I'll open the split rings like so um, I'm not sure if you can see that Yeah, I'll open the split rings like this, and then put a hook on, so for instance, just a normal hook, something like these ones, or these ones, um, instead of, I put the split rings instead of snap swivels and stuff, and just makes it kind of easier. So now that we've um, done the first part, once this is all done, what you need to do is you need some clay, I forgot to say, you need some clay or um, if you have like all the resin stuff to do it with, then that's perfect, you just have the mould and all that kind of stuff and do it that way, but I don't have any of that. And you also need some split shot, which I've just lost somehow. I brought out a whole box of split box with like split shot in it, um, just bear with me a second, I kind of lost it, sorry my room is a real mess, there's my box. Um, this is my drawers, reels, rubbers, reels, plastics, and then all sorts, mixed box. This is my split shot. I have everything, there's my tripod and stuff. And my sofa is just covered in jackets and clothes, so I couldn't do any. I do most of my stuff out on the floor, or I used to do it always on this table. Um, but I got TV for Christmas, so I used the table for my TV. So, yeah. So this video is probably going really gonna, I think it's going really blurry now. Okay, there we go, refocused. So, what you need is some split shot. Really, um, but before we get onto that, you will need to, um, I think about it. I would advise um, to start with if you would, if you like when you, before you put it through, or, or like once you put it through, or whatever, put it through this way, one of them, and put like a swivel on it or something, um, because then it just makes it easier. You can tie it straight on, and it kind of can spin more as well. It makes it kind of better. Um, I don't use these much. I actually don't have any bought um, Alabama rigs or umbrella rigs or whatever you call them. Um, all of mine are made. What I use is clay and then I coat it with like a, um, I can buy acrylic or lacquer spray paint which is completely clear. I normally paint them with just normal paints like I have here and then colour them. So because it's a smaller one compared to usual I'm going to get about that much clay. Normally I would use almost double this can't be too heavy because I'm going to be using it on my ultralight setups. Um, maybe a bit less. Put that there. 
movie about that much. And all I do is just mold it over and get whatever shape I want. So, um, the last one I had was like a, the head chopped off of a fish. So like flat at the back kind of thing. Um, this one I'm just going to make sort of like a usual, try and make it as much as I can as like a sort of usual style Alabama rig. Um, I don't know many people use these for trout. I've just sort of come up with the idea of trying it. I'm going to be used, um, I'm going to take some videos of trying like um, Carolina rigs and wacky rigs and stuff for trout fishing because I know that they I, they should I, I personally feel that they will work so I want to try and there's not really any problem in trying things usually people would well I would say, I say and so does my mum there's not much um, there's no problem in trying things unless there's kind of like stupid things like yeah like I normally do like using giant lures for bass which is kind of a stupid thing I sometimes use lures that are like like for like shark kind of things they're like 30 cent me along I try them for like cat like catfish massive catfish lures and stuff I use I'm just going to turn this into like a torpedo because it's drying really quickly and I didn't realise It's not working, sorry guys, it's not working very well. I'm just going to um, leave it like that, I think. Let me just get some, a little bit of water. Let's get these little pots. I bought some like sweets that I use little pots. My sink is full of wood because I, I make lures sometimes and I use that. Sorry, hairbrush. Sorry, old Starbucks. I always end up collecting Starbucks things because I'm too lazy to throw them in the bin at the moment. Because my bin is kind of full of old fishing stuff that I haven't thrown away. I, I'm debating whether to throw it away or not so I don't put anything in it. It's just tons of line. Okay, I'm just going to make it look kind of like that because um, I'm not saying that I can't be bothered but I can't be bothered to try and mess with it much more. So once you do that, um, you just want to let it dry. So I'll get back to you there. Um, sorry, I'll shut up. Um, I'm just going to put this here a second. This is where I hang all my stuff. Um, I hang like my different things. This is, there's, a, um, let me just turn up, there you go. Um, this is one I made before using a jig head. Um, but this is my hanger, really, and, um, this, this, oh, sorry, okay, this is what I hang my, um, stuff on, it's just a piece of wire that I've made in the right shape to hang stuff, so I'm just gonna, it has a big snap at the end of it, which I don't use, so, just hang that on there a minute, wash my hands, I don't actually have any hand washing liquid, so I normally use washing up liquid, I have a cactus. He looks after my um, my I don't know what rig that is. I, I leave a rig in it because I'm just too late. I put it there. Um, well, I don't know what I use that rig for. I use it normally for carp and stuff. It's like my sort of carp and scorpion fish rig. I use it for everything really. This is one of my double hooked rigs that I've used sometimes. Um, I use braid for that always. I like to use, yeah, um, I use Countach braid um, on that one. So let's get back to this. What you want to do before it dries, you want to get two split shots. Um, well this is how I do it. Just to tr um, 
I get two split shot weights, and the smallest I have. So these are the smallest ones I have. And what I do is I normally get my pliers. Sorry. I get them like that, the right way round. And I just crush them down just to close them. Because you don't need them open. Just you only need two. Because what I use these for is normally the eyeballs of the rig. So now that I've crushed them down, what you want to do is try and get it as close as you can. It's easier without one of these pair of pliers. Um, I have another pair somewhere, but I have no idea where. And what you want to do is, depending on which way you up you want to put it, you just want to pop it on like that, and then like sort of push it in, depending on whereabouts you want them. I'm going to put them about here. So I just push that in. It needs to go in about that much, really. Because then you'll be painting over them later and then sealing it, like sealing it all in. So it doesn't matter too much. And another one here. This reminds me more of a um, a jig, as in like a, when you look at this to me, it looks like a, um, some kind of shrimp or something. So, um, it, it kind of reminds me of a, like, squid jig. I'm just going to try and re-level out the f it a bit. So I've kind of deformed it. So that's basically almost that's almost finished. Um, so I'll see you guys in a few hours. It shouldn't normally it doesn't it doesn't take a few hours to dry. Um, if it's dry before I go to sleep, then I will finish it off this video. But if not, then I'll see you when I wake up, and I'll finish it off. See you in a bit. Hey guys, sorry for the mess. I'm using my sofa and I kind of chucked everything on it. Um, so back to umbrella rigs. Um, I couldn't be bothered to paint it, so I'm just gonna I'm just coloring it in with a pen. Um, I'm I'm doing orange because it work. I find orange works the best for trout. I always catch them on orange lures always. Um, so I'm just gonna give this sort of a bit of a colouring with the, I gave it an orange, I used an orange marker earlier, and now I'm just going with a highlighter, a pink highlighter to try and change the orange a bit more, make it a bit sort of more visible, a brighter orange just to try and attract as many fish as I can. From this was only going to be like a 10 minute video, um, but now it's ended up a like 20 minute video because I just kind of keep talking and um, it's taking me longer than usual. There's my colour, all done. Um, you, with the pen, with the when you use ink, um, paint it works better because you can cover the eyes. But that's my finished product. I'm just going to spray it with some acrylic spray um, to seal it and then I'll be done. Thanks for watching guys. Um, again, subscribe to my channel, look at my other videos. I've been in some more videos um, this week, maybe uh, on Thursday, so in two days I'm going to do some more videos, um, I think, because I'm supposed to be going fishing. So, see you then. Okay, so earlier I coloured it in orange and sprayed it. Now I'm just gonna I've got a black pen. I'm just gonna put some markings on it. So I'm gonna go a black line straight along the bottom. Um, normally I'd put one down the top but I'm gonna do one down the bottom.
just like that. And then off of it, I'm just going to come upwards. Just to try and change it a bit. And then I think I'm just going to do another line along the top. So basically my end effect is that. Um, I'm just going to spray it a few more times to kind of seal it more and then it will be ready but that's basically ready so thanks for watching guys um, I hope this video was helpful it kind of taken a long time but it makes it it's half the price of buying one and you can make loads of them out of it if you buy like one thing of clay um, the clay cost me like I bought it from the pound shop kind of th I bought from like a pound shop so it didn't cost much money See you, later. See you soon, guys. Um, do some more videos soon. So, watch, watch out for those. Subscribe. See you later.